Hello, my name's Melinda, and today we are talking about how to say no but still deliver. It's about being assertive in the workplace. Now, we all know what aggressive behaviour looks and feels like. Pointing fingers, raised voices, shouting, demanding, and putting us in a difficult or awkward situation. It's not good, and frankly, it makes us feel demotivated and lacking in confidence. However, we want to be seen to be working hard and committed to our jobs, so when people ask us, we will often try and lend a helping hand, even if we are really busy. The trouble with this is that the work piles up and up and up and we really can't get on with our jobs. It makes us stressed and we stop being as effective as we should be. Being assertive is not about winning over the other person. It's about understanding their needs but also letting them know your needs so that you can reach a balance and a win-win situation. Luckily, there are various strategies we can use. Using I words, setting clear boundaries, and using positive language. So using I statements. This is when you state what you need, but also allow the fact that the other person has some requirements too. For example, I understand that you are in a hurry, but I also have a job that needs to get done by lunchtime. And being confident in what you're saying. I am happy to help you, but I need to understand your time frames to see how I can help best. Setting clear boundaries. It is important that people understand that you also have work to complete. And if you seek to understand their deadlines, it will certainly help. Or you may have to say, I am very happy to help you, but I can't today. So would tomorrow or Monday work for you okay? This manages their expectations, but also ensures that you can plan your time. Otherwise, you're going to become very overloaded. You just won't get the job done and it won't reflect well on you. Using positive language. Don't apologise if you've got a good idea. So don't use phrases like, well, I think this might sound a bit daft or I'm sorry I have to ask you this. Do you mind? Instead, go for, I have a great idea. Let's give it a go. I believe it. I can. Another strategy is planning. When you have an action to achieve, plan it first. Make sure you have a clear idea of what it is you want to achieve. Gather all of the facts. Don't get emotional. Anticipate the other person's reaction or likely response and be prepared for it. Lastly, state the action that you want to achieve. But do remember that the words that you say only account for 7% of the message. The rest is down to your tone of voice and body language. So don't forget to smile. So let's recap. Assertiveness is about being clear and confident. It's about being factual, understanding the other person's needs and point of view, but stating your own needs and using the right tone of voice and body language in a positive way. It's a win-win situation and everyone has the right to be heard. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.